Hey, what's going on YouTube? Matt Morgan here. On this channel, we talk about men's health, men's fitness, men's fashion, anything guy related. So in this series, we're still talking about the men's backpacks. So we're just gonna go over a few different bags. Today we have the Fendi Monster. So this is the Navy, so he does have the red eyes on this one. So very nice bag, nylon material. So nice and you know scratch resistant, lightweight, very good, just beautiful bag, nice clean lines, everything just looks good on it, very simple design. Just something you want to look, just throw on, look cool, go to the gym, just a cool looking bag really. Very small, compact, so it's not going to hold a whole lot of stuff, but it does hold more than it looks. So it's about this size, so it's you know mid waist up to my shoulders. Nice, nice material again, very nice interior. So let's take a look there. So we have the inside of the bag, plenty of room for just the everyday accessories, or if this is your second bag, maybe you're in the airport, we have one padded top part. So it does have kind of a nice thick material to it. It is a little bit padded. It's very simple, but this is very roomy area, maybe for an iPad should fit here pretty nice, but it's not completely padded, so be careful. But an iPad can fit in here and you can zip it down, keep it secure if so it's not moving all over the place. And you have just, again, nothing else inside, just the one pocket. Plenty of room for just quick little, maybe some, a jacket or scarfs or gloves or hats, whatever you need to bring with you, gym clothes. The front pocket, nice, here's the eyes. And then we have the mouth, so we'll open his mouth up. So you do have the red interior. Nothing on the inside here, it's just a plain, simple pocket. Of course, nice material, very nice interior, beautifully made, the zippers are nice, everything is just top notch, of course, coming from Fendi. Just a simple bag, really just simple design, not much to it. Nice uh, leather, what is this, canvas leather stitching on the outside as well. So it just gives it a little extra touch to it, gives it a little more stability, security, just kind of a very nice material, very well made, of course. And then on the back, so we have just a typical backpack. It's ventilated, so it isn't, you know, it will breathe a little. The straps are very nice, very solid construction metal. These are not going to be breaking anytime soon. These will definitely last you many years. This is very well made, very high quality straps, very high quality zippers, definitely designed to last a while. The only problem with these bags, they do tend to get a little dirty sometimes, so you can get spot remover and remove the spots, but they do repel water a little bit and they can repel some dirt, but this is not a bag that you want to just take out to, you know, in the rain or try to get it dirty. I would not recommend this material for all weather purposes. Definitely shows a little more spots than the typical, maybe a waxed canvas type. Those will hold up a little bit better to weather. So this is just something simple. You're out, maybe an office, quick little trip to the store or just, you know, everyday bag, going to the coffee shop, just want to throw a little edge on. This is a nice Fendi Monster. Also comes with a bag for your storage. So you have your Fendi. It's very simple, nice design. Keep your bag stored. That way you keep the grime, dirt and grime off of it. So I always keep these in the bags, especially if you're not going to be using it every day, if you're storing them, definitely put them in a bag. I just definitely recommend taking care of your Possessions, don't just treat them like crap. These will hold their value. They're designer bags, so they definitely hold their value better than most bags. So if you keep these, buy them, you can sell them down the road if you're not interested in it. You wanna move on, they do hold their value. So don't forget that, buy good quality, good quality bags. You can keep up with them, and then you can get rid of them down the road if you want, and they hold their value. So if you are do enjoy bags, you do enjoy accessories don't be afraid to invest a little money in a bag because you can always get your money back or it's going to be something that you're going to love for a long time you know down the road it definitely is cool to have a vintage bag so just think long term on some of these bags these are not just cheap throwaway bags these are something that could be you know valuable one day potentially otherwise they do hold their value so if you don't like it sell it later but great little bag especially if you like fendi and you like a little edge to your bag this is not your classical business bag, of course. Definitely just something you throw on and go. A little more youthful design to it. Uh, very small, compact. Put it on your back. And then we're off. So that's the Fendi Monster. 
check back next video and we'll have a couple different bags to go over. But this is just the, probably the simplest one of the bunch, the Fendi Monster. Still super nice, not that bad to be priced, I think they're under a thousand. So not too bad for you know the quality of materials and just the, the resale value of these bags is usually pretty fantastic. So you're gonna get your money back on if you need them and they will last a while. Yeah, all right, that's it. This is the Fendi Monster. So very simple bag, very simple design. Very nice, they definitely hold their value. So if you're, you know, don't mind spending the money, you probably will get a decent return out of it if you plan on selling it one day. All in all, great bag. I recommend it if you want to get one yourself. Good luck, they're online somewhere. I don't have any coupon codes or affiliate links or anything for you, but this is the Fendi Monster. And there you have it. I hope you liked it. I hope it's something maybe you're looking for. If not, check back next week and we'll keep reviewing more backpacks. And then I will be reviewing some, probably some duffels as well. We'll get into the fashion world. We'll get into the fitness. If you have any questions, I do have access to majority of the bags out there. So just shoot them in the comments. What do you want to see? And I'll try to get my hands on one for you to check out. And that way you can have a better look at it before you make your purchase. So enjoy, have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.